Word on the street in Baltimore, Cano has dropped his arm angle a little bit. They want to get him back on top, and it's noticeable when you watch these first two pitches how low his arm angle is. That one is ripped into right field. Santander on the run, dives, and he makes the catch. What a catch by Santander. Guy kind of flies under the radar. Switch hitter with power, but an excellent defender in right field. And that is full extension to take away extra bases from Anthony Volpe. That's an easy double and probably a triple if he doesn't come up with that play. Well, Volpe robbed of a double his last time up by Urias at third, now robbed of an extra base hit by Santander. He's 0 for 3. Jake Bowers will pinch third base side of the rubber, flies and won't, lands way open. Hits sharply and a diving play by Frazier. Oh, what a play. He took a hit away from Rizzo and he saved the run. Adam Frazier sells out to the glove side and hauls it into the webbing and then makes the throw to get Rizzo. I mean, there's really no guessing. He, he hardly throws the fastball, so they know he's throwing the change, and they still can't hit it because of the move. Driven deep to right field. There it goes. See ya. Ball game. One nothing. Oriole win. Well, that's a tough loss for the Yankees. Well, coming into this series, I felt like it was a statement series for both teams. And Baltimore makes a statement in game one. Santander goes down to dig it out and hit it a long way for a walk-off home run to take game one. You called it, Michael. You knew it was going to be a changeup. Santander all over it. Sat on it, got it. It was down and in the wheelhouse. Golf sit out of there. Orioles knew it. Crowd knew it. Santander feels good about things. And the Orioles with the walk off one nothing victory over the Yankees as the Yankees do not take advantage of a great outing by Cole. Yeah, we talked about it at the beginning. You have to win.